Let's welcome Ravi Kumar. He's president of information technology company Infosys. And, and Ravi, what do you mean when you say it's a lazy approach? You'd like to see everybody back all the time, or you think there should be a lot more flexibility? Thank you, Becky. Thank you for that opportunity to talk to you. Um, Infosys, as you know, is a global tech and digital services firm with 300,000 employees uh, distributed globally. What I meant by a lazy approach is to create a homogeneous approach to any kind of work, any industry, to come back to work for three days. Um, you know, we, we went from five days to work to zero days to work. That doesn't mean hybrid work means we should get to three days, uh, three days a week. Um, and that's because the original template before the pre-pandemic was uh, an evolved template from the Industrial Revolution, which was, which was a flawed template. It was a flawed template because it kind of said every industry, any kind of work, uh, should be in a physical workplace for five days. Um, I think that template is out of the window. We should start to look at work being very heterogeneous, work being very distributed. Work workplaces and workforce are going to be decoupled. And as they get decoupled, depending on the type of the industry, the type of work, the type of function, you could either be five days at work or you could be no days at work. Productivity is not at odds with flexibility. Productivity can actually be reinforced with flexibility. At some point of time, we had fun at work reinforce productivity. We will now have flexibility reinforce productivity. And that yeah. is real. And to me, that is going to define what the future of work is. Work, workplaces and workforce are going to be decoupled. You could actually create much more productivity by being flexible in some kinds of work. And we should therefore not paint a broad brush and get people to work for three days a week. We should yeah, probably Robbie, be more deliberate about what we do. Doesn't your business flourish when no one goes back to work, Ravi? You know what? We have 3,000 to 300,000 employees across the world. Uh, we have been uh, working hybrid, remote. Uh, right. it's, so not, you, uh, it's not impacted us. Of course you're uh, happy about well, that, Of course you're happy about this. I, 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 and I mean, there's a, how about kids that are in school that, that, uh, that haven't been in school in two or three years? We don't even know, we don't even know where to start to try to get them back into yeah, so, a normal path. So, the point, so that, that doesn't apply yeah. at all to people in the workforce? So the point I'm making, the point I'm making is it's, it's you know, going to physical workplaces is, is real and needed as well. You know, it helps on spontaneous creativity. It helps on spontaneous innovation, collaboration, and the ability to actually create more learning. What I'm actually saying is the workplace is very heterogeneous, which essentially means there will be some work which will need you to be five days at work. Yeah. There will be some kinds of work which doesn't need you to be at work. Right. And, and why Ravi, do you I, need to force people I, and mandate people to get to work? That's the point I'm making. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.